Air. It's vital for all of us, but it's not always clean. It often contains dangerous pollutants, especially in urban areas. As a result, hundreds of thousands of Europeans a year die prematurely. This must change, and it can. A major cause of air pollution is vehicles that run on fossil fuels. Most of the cars we drive, the buses we ride in, and the trucks and vans that carry our goods still emit dangerous pollutions such as nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. These emissions reduce our life expectancy by putting us at greater risk for things like strokes, heart disease, and lung disease. That is why we need to drastically limit vehicle emissions. The move towards electric vehicles is reducing fleet-wide emissions in Europe, but this transition will take time. So for now, we also need to lower the emissions of fossil fuel vehicles. The technologies to do so already exist and the extra costs are much lower than you might expect. Vehicle emissions, especially nitrogen oxides, have the potential to be reduced by up to 90%. The cost of the technology to do so would increase the price of cars by less than 2% and less than 5% for trucks. This year, the European Commission will decide on stricter vehicle emission standards. Adopting a standard that reduces nitrogen oxide by 90% will prevent 35,000 premature deaths by 2050 in the European Union alone. And the benefits of stricter standards extend far beyond the EU. Countries all over the world have followed in Europe's footsteps when it comes to vehicle emission standards. With a stringent limit in Europe, there's a good chance similar requirements will be adopted around the world. Cleaner vehicles, cleaner air, because it's vital for all of us.